you are going to learn how to put hex and stuff for any Wii game. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be fun. And so the first thing, if you have not watched my other videos of how to install the homebrew channel, you're going to need to do that, because if you don't, then this will not work. So, um, yeah, just do that first. Follow those videos. They tell you exactly what to do. And um, as soon as you're done, then watch this one. If you watch that one, then just keep watching this. So, <laughs> Alright, then we're going to need to download three things after you've installed the Homebrew channel. Put in your SD card into your computer and and download this link that's on the side of this YouTube video. It's called Ocarina, and this is what gives you the codes to do the cheats and stuff on um, the Wii. And it'll bring up your zip thing. And so you want to copy both of these. to desktop and as soon as that's done then you can close that what? and um, this is going to be going on the SD card so you don't need that right now and this is what you're going to be using on your PC obviously hence the folder name so um, what we're going to do first is open up the PC folder. You know what, let's actually download the other other files first. Okay, and go to the other ones and um, and then download the homebrew browser which another link will be on the side of this YouTube video. And I need to take both of these, bring them on your desktop you can close this. Then what we want to do is open up our SD card and it should have stuff like this for your apps and whatnot. Um, like it should show the applications after you've installed the homebrew channel on your SD card. So open up your apps and then you're going to want to put Ocarina in the apps. Just cut and paste in here. Okay. Now that you've got that, you can get rid of this folder since it's pretty much useless. And and you want to need the homebrew browser. And just copy. Wait, you can just take the whole folder actually, just cut and paste the homebrew browser into your SD card inside the apps folder. Uh, I need a paste. There we go. Oh wait, I already have that in here. Oh well, you get the idea. So the homebrew browser is in there. It's pretty much the same thing that's on here already. I just forgot to delete it before I did this. Um, so yeah. Well, yeah. I don't... I forgot about this readme. Whatever. Just put that in there. Put the yeah, just put the whole read me in there too. It won't do you any harm. Okay, now that we have the homebrew browser and Ocarina in here, you can close out your SD card and open up this PC thing. Uh the PC folder. Then what you can do is open up Code Manager and it'll come up as this. Now, it already comes with stuff from Brawl, so you can open up, you want to go to open text file, and then go to RSBE, and that'll be that'll be Smash Brothers, so um, you can open that, and this is basically what you can do um, for, this is how I got Fox to be big on that um, on that video. And um and what you can do basically since it's just you, 
you can make a status modifier, a color modifier, a character modifier, whatever. And um, what I did, I put size modifier. And since they have a bunch of these X's, it won't let you do it. What you need to do is go down here, and it will tell you quadruple or double or normal or half size or whatever. Since um, I guess quadruple is or quadro is the most that they have on here. So whatever you want, just copy this and then post it where the X's are. And so that's what you do for that. But if you want to um, get Mario Kart or any other Wii codes for this, what you can do is um, open up, and this is the last link that will be on the side of this YouTube page. It'll be called USB Gecko. Now this thing, it'll be uh, Mario Kart Wii, and then you can mess around with all this stuff. Um, you don't need anything right here, you just click download, and, oh wait, hold on, sorry, right click download, save link as, and go to PC, and save it in here where all the other text files are, and it will save it. Now as soon as that is saved, then you can file, open a text file, and it'll be the one RMCE01 and then you can open that and it will open um, Mario Kart Wii cheats. Um, for this I for some reason like I tried it last night and it worked on one player but it did not work on online so I'll figure that out and then I'll tell you like on the phone or something I don't know but I put always have an item and and um wait I could just do this always have item and right character offset because if it would say please use code with right character offset and then the right character offset that's just I don't know what that does just ask you to use it and then, since there's an X here, it'll want you to do something. So then, for the X, so then you go down to X values, and um, and it'll tell you what animal or animals, what items you can use. So then the I the items you always have. For me, I put um, I put star power, and so then you copy and paste zero nine. Um, and you click, and you go to XX, and you paste it over the X's, and it'll. And for the Y, there's um, Y is usually zero is usually one, so just put one for it. Otherwise, it will. Oh, and you save it. Otherwise, um, like if you have triple bananas, you're gonna need to put Y as three. It'll let you know. Otherwise. Um, so, and I think, alright, now that we have these codes, we have unlimited star power, and we have the uh, right character offset. I don't know why you, they need you to do that. And um, what you need to do after you got that, you know, export to GCT. And as soon as you export to GCT, then bring it to your SD card and click store and it'll say it's stored and after that then you can go to your SD card great there it is right there and then here's the code it'll be right there now um, I'm gonna show you the next step of using all the applications that I told you on the SD card on the Wii and homebrew channel and how to get it to work. So yeah, I'll show you 